Hey y'all, Swafford Homestead. I thought I'd show you my plant starts. I've been working on them slowly. I found a pumpkin the other day before we get to the starts from October. Somebody had made a jack o' lantern out of it and it had it had collapsed, but the seeds was covered and nothing ate them. I grabbed a handful of them. I'm gonna see if I can grow them. Storm bought jack o' lantern. We'll see what happens. This first one, you know, here, I believe it's cauliflower. I didn't mark the cauliflower or the broccoli. One's one, one's the other. It's a full tray of each one, so I usually plant them same area. So I didn't worry about it. They're both going out about the same time in the same place. So if that's the cauliflower, this has to be the broccoli. This next tray is the first half is tomatoes. My father sent me four different kinds of tomatoes he liked to grow and he wanted to see if I could grow him some plants. Those plants have gotten higher. He normally buys his from a certain place. But these are Defiant tomatoes, uh, Jasper tomatoes. The next row is, well, there's two rows of each one. There are 50 count trays, you know, there's 10 of each one. All these are 50 count trays, but these, I planted two rows of the Defiant, two rows of the Jasper. Let's see, I got two rows of yellow squash, three zucchini plants, two canary melon plants. I believe that's a roll of uh, cantaloupe and the Look right hard here. Row two rows of watermelon. Cantaloupe was the Haley's best uh, watermelon. I'd have to look again. It was my watermelon seeds from last year. It and uh, it was a really big watermelon seed too. Well, I'll think of it later. It distract me. <laughs> I grew them as some of the biggest biggest watermelons. When you buy the seeds and you tear, treat them right and you can get huge watermelons. This tray here is, let's see, the first two rolls is bell pepper. I've had one to show up. It's about right for bell pepper. The next three rolls is jalapeno. I've had half of them show up. Next roll is early girl tomatoes. See, uh, one row of it, two rows is legend tomatoes, another one from my father, and the last two rows is Bella Rosa, which is his also. This next planter is see, the first row is banana pepper, looks like every one of them come up. Then there's some early girls, I believe, some hot pepper seeds. I tried the third row, none of them showed up. Next four rolls is uh, mule team. That's my kind of, that's my tomato. That's one of my first ones I'm growing for myself. I'll get a few of any of these, you know, each one of these that I've grown for him, but I like a roll of mule team. The last three rolls is cucumbers, and they're not liking the container with the tomatoes for some reason. I'll have to look into that. That's what we got started so far. There's close to 250 plants here. Some of them going by my father's house. Most of them's going out here. And I got this one lonely pineapple I've been playing with. It's kind of hard to get them started this time of year, trying to keep them warm enough, but they don't really like cold weather. But it's there. But you can see where I've what I've been doing. I'm slowly but surely getting my seeds planted. Most time I'm a little further ahead than this, but I'm dialing back this year. I want to plant the basics, I guess you can say, as we used to call it the soup garden. Nothing fancy, nothing new, just the basic vegetables. I hope you all have a good week. Take care. God bless.